Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro Video Countdown. Uh, in at number 60, it's a Formula 3 racing simulation called Revs, which was published by Acornsoft in 1984 and developed by Jeff Crammond. Uh, this first edition of Revs, um, it came out on the Beeb originally, I think it was later released on the Commodore 64 as well, um, but the original version of Revs uh, was based on the Silverstone uh, Grand Prix racing track. Um, I think subsequent editions may also have included other racing circuits as well, uh, but this is the version of Revs that I had as a child, so that's the one that we're going to be taking a look at now. Alright, here we are. So, Acorn Soft Revs. Um, here, here are the instructions here. So you have controls over obviously your steering, your throttle, your brake, your starter, uh, and you can control your gears going up and down. Um, now there's a lot of information about uh, how Formula 3 works and you know, information about rev counters, etc, etc, but we're just going to skip through all of that. Um, I would like to say it's because I know how to play the game, but as you, as you shall quickly appreciate, um, that's not the case at all. Uh, it's just that I don't really want to spend the video looking through pages of instructions. Right, we're going to go with the practice run. Um, and now these settings, uh, I'm just basing this on what it says as a suggestion at the beginning. I have no idea what any of this means. Um, because, yeah, I'm really not a uh, an expert at all things gaming uh, when it comes to racing simulations. Um, but anyway, my, my sort of general understanding is that we need to get out of... Oh, no, there we go. Get out of first gear. Um, no, that's not going to work, so I'm going to have to go back to neutral. Uh, so we start up with our starter, and then we gradually ease out. There we go. Um, and then increase... Increased gear, I think, makes you go faster. Um, should point out that in real life I can only drive an automatic, so all these things about gears don't really mean an awful lot to me. Alright, we're coming up to our first bend here. I'm just gonna. Oh, oh no. No, hang on. Am I gonna get back on? Oh, hang on. Let's see if we can gently get back onto the racing track there. Yeah, there we go. That's it. There we are. Okay, oh no, 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 hang on. Oh no, I've, oh, I've, <laughs> I've conked out. Okay, hang on, let's go back into neutral. Oh, come on. Oh no, oh no, I've steered the wrong way, hang on. Uh, oh, oh, oh dear, I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna, gonna crash. Oh no, hang on. Okay, right, let's go back to neutral again. Alright, okay, and zoom just oh no oh i've gone into a spin hang on oh, oh no no oh no okay no we're gonna have to go back hang on no, i think there's uh, some information in the instructions about how you're how you're supposed to be able to get back onto oh no okay i'm just gonna zoom off into the distance now there we go crash <laughs> so yes um this is mainly the reason why, I have to say, I've brought the game in as low as I have, because I, I appreciate that there are plenty of Revs fans out there, um, and that, you know, I mean, let's face it, it's an amazing game for a BBC Micro, no, no question at all about that. I mean, it's a three-dimensional racing simulation, it's, uh, it, you know, really, really sort of pushing the beep to its limits. Um, but the problem, unfortunately, that I have is that I just, I'm just really no good at racing games at all. And the more realistic they are, so unfortunately, um, the, the worse I am at them, because I just don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Um, and uh, given that this is obviously not intended to be any kind of um, authoritative listing of BBC Micro Games, it's just my personal opinion, um, yeah, I, I, I couldn't really bring it in much higher than 60, because... I, I, I just don't get on with it very well. Uh, I, I, you know, I tend to spend most of the game doing that, um, which, you know, and this is only in the practice mode. I'm not even up against other drivers at this point. Um, and yeah, my my total lack of understanding about how how the gears work probably doesn't help. Um, so yeah. I mean, I, I imagine that you're probably not meant to spend the entire game going around in first gear. Um, but, yeah, I, for me it's a challenge enough just to stay on the racing track, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, um, I, like I say, I, I imagine I've probably upset some people uh, bringing revs in at uh, number 60. I think, I think a lot of people have it in their top 10 games uh, for the Micro. And, I, I mean, I get that. I really, I, you know, I, I, don't, um, I don't think they're wrong to 
hold it in such high esteem because it's a very intelligent, uh, well thought through, very well programmed game. Absolutely wouldn't take any of that away from it. Um, but, as I say, if you're not a racing fan, or indeed <laughs> if you can't even drive a car with gears, uh, or sorry, a manual controlled car, then it, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a steep um, learning curve to really be able to play the game with anything approaching um, ability at, or, or indeed interest. I mean, I think, as I say, the problem I have is that I, I just don't really enjoy it very much. Um, you know, I think ultimately a game is supposed to be something that you enjoy playing and not not be too much of a, a struggle to uh, to get on with. Um, and as I say, with revs, I, you know, I can I can completely appreciate the aesthetic of it, uh, the coding ability. Uh, as I was saying in the introduction, you know, hiding hiding some of the code in in the screen memory up in the sky there with blue pixels, very very clever stuff. Um, so you know, Jeff Grammond is a, an, an absolute uh, genius. As far as I'm concerned, to have, to have come up with that, um, but yeah, I mean, oh no, there we go again. Uh, yeah, it, it's just it's just too difficult for me. Uh, you know, bear of little brain that I am when it comes to racing games. Um, I just can't, I just can't really get on with it. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing half the time, and, and even getting the the thing to start at the beginning is is somewhat uh, somewhat frustrating. I mean, like, if I put it up into fifth gear, does that does that help? Do you think is that is that gonna make things better? Um, now, I've seen you know forum posts on places like Star Dot forums where people compare their best lap times and you know what what front and rear what are they called flaps are they settings? Uh, you know, and how 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 uh, oh wings, sorry, not flaps. That's, that's an aeroplane. Uh, yeah, and how how will they sort of compete to you know get better and better at it? But oh goodness me, for me, it's um, yeah, it's just not happening really. So okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just um, come out a second, uh, and we're going to load up, um, and just just so you can see what the uh, competition mode looks like, because um, obviously I've only been playing it in practice mode up to now. Uh, so we'll go into competition mode, just so you can see the difference, because um, obviously in competition mode you're actually racing against uh, other other uh, AI drivers. So we'll set the uh, rear and front wings as before, and uh, yes, let's see if we can maybe maybe make a make a bit of an impact on competition mode. I doubt it. I suspect all it's going to do is introduce additional uh, obstacles for me in the form of other drivers. But uh, you know, we'll we'll do our best. I am sure that there are people watching this video who are very good at driving games, or indeed driving generally, and are probably think, what on earth is he doing in first gear? Um, I mean, I can tell just from the noise of the engine there that that's probably not where I should be. Um, but, yeah, I, unfortunately for me... Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, yeah, unfortunately for me, um, if I don't do that, uh, uh, if I put it into a higher gear, I seem to do even worse. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll show willing. But uh, when I get up into sort of the likes of fifth gear, I, I tend to find that it goes so fast that I can't, uh, I can't even keep it on the on the road, which is half the struggle for me with playing revs. It's uh, just keep the vehicle on the road. You know, I I don't mind coming in last uh, if if it means that I've actually you know stayed on on the track. Um, oh, well, I'll actually manage to get around a, a bend there. Um, yeah. So I mean. As I say, this is obviously a very good game, and um, you know its position at number 60 is entirely a reflection of my personal feelings towards the game as someone that isn't really into driving games. Um, I mean, it would have been ridiculous for the game not to have appeared in the, in the rankings at all, because uh, you know it is obviously one of the best games out there for the Beeb, and uh, there are, it has plenty of fans. Um, Unfortunately, I, I'm just not one of them from a just from a gaming point of view. You know, um, I, I can I can take great uh, sort of admiration of it as a as a as a feat of programming, um, but as as a as a as a gamer, uh, certainly as a retro gamer, it just doesn't have a lot of appeal for me um, because, like I say, half the time I don't really know what I'm doing, um, and uh, that that tends to count against a game really. You know, if you if you if you sort of don't really know how to how to play it. It's hard to really enjoy it all that much. Um, now, Revs is obviously one of a series of 
uh, other simulators that were um, quite popular for the BBC Micro actually in the 80s. Um, perhaps the most famous one is uh, Aviator, which we will be looking at uh, in this series as well. Um, oh, oh dear, now without giving anything away on the Aviator front, oh dear, I'm really not having a good, uh, good time here, am I? I think I've conked out now. Okay, let's try and go back to neutral and see if we can get back on the track. Can I get back on the track, do you think? Oh, yeah. There we go. Yes, so just uh, going back to Aviator. So I, I will be bringing that one in a little bit higher than Revs. Um, not because I'm a pilot. Uh, certainly I'm <laughs> no better at flying planes than driving Formula 3 racing cars. But um, I, I, I tend to get on a little bit better with Aviator. Um, I think because it's a flying game, there's less uh, opportunity for um, coming off the track in the way that there is in Revs. I mean, you can certainly crash in Aviator, but... Uh, you know, I think the sky gives you a bit more scope <laughs> for uh, staying in the game. Oh, look at that. That, that. I seem to have driven through that car. Um, so we're on a lap time at the moment of 2.06, 2.07. I'm still in... Oh, no, I'm in second gear. I suppose that's a vague improvement on where I was before. Oh, I think I actually overtook somebody there. That's. Uh, oh, no, hang on. Oh, they're back again. Um, yeah, so as I say, I, I would really, really be interested in hearing from anyone um, in the comments who, you know, is a fan of Revs. I know there's plenty of you out there, and uh, I'm sure some of you are, uh, as I was saying before, a little bit upset to see Revs come in this low. Oh dear. Well, there you go. I, I thought I was uh, thought I was doing all right there, but uh, once again, my driving prowess has let me down. Um, so I think we're probably gonna call it a day there on revs I, I'm you know I've I've set it to a five minute lap time but <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm actually going to be able to complete uh, a, a sufficient number of laps um, it's uh, yeah it's, it's just a little bit too challenging for the likes of myself so I think we're gonna oh here you go less than one minute to go oh, I'll tell you what we'll uh, oh spoke too soon there I said well maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll just play it through until the end of the uh, until the end of the, the the time just so that we can see how I compared um, I'm sure I've come bottom uh, I mean <laughs> it's very unlikely that I'm going to have done better than that it does say best time two minutes 17 I'm not sure if that's an indication of my best time or somebody else's um, I suppose we'll find out at the end when it ranks me uh, against the other AI drivers um, but yes, as I say, if you if you're a fan of Revs um, and it's a game that you know you enjoy and and perhaps can actually play, unlike me, uh, do uh, do leave me a comment. I'm very keen to hear from people uh, in general, actually, on any of these uh, reviews. I always like to hear from people um, just to see what their thoughts are on the game. And uh, yes, we'll see if we can at least play this out until the end of well, the final minute here. I don't know if I'm gonna. We had to even complete a lap. No, no. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So I'm just going round in circles. Your time is up. Okay. Is that gonna? Please wait. All right. Well, that was the end of our five-minute lap time. Let's see what happens after the please wait. I'm hoping it will uh, potentially go on into some sort of ranking. Well, maybe it's just going to sit here and say, please wait. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, OK, well, I think that was just the qualifying, wasn't it? Yes, I think that was just qualifying. And then after that, you go into the race. Well, I think that's more than this video has scope for, to be honest with you. And, and I, I suspect you've probably all grown tired of seeing me skidding, skidding off the racetrack and into the grass multiple times. Um, so we're going to leave it there for revs. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. As I say, um, I appreciate that uh, it's coming a little bit lower than perhaps some people think it should um, but it's really just a reflection on me uh, it's not you it's me revs that's that's the honest truth so uh, thanks for joining me for this video i hope you'll join me for the next one in the series and until then goodbye